Hey there, fellow time traveler of television. Do yo do you remember those good old days when black and white screens were our windows to adventure? Well, if you ever watched the 1962 TV series Combat, then you're in for a nostalgic ride down memory lane. Ah, uh, Combat, the show that brought wartime drama to the small screen with all the intensity of a live battlefield. It was a time when TV shows had the power to transport us to different eras, and Combat did it flawlessly. Whether you were glued to the edge of your seat, witnessing the heroic escapades of Sergeant Saunders, and his squad are eagerly awaiting the next episode. There's something magical about those vintage TV moments. So, tell me, did you watch Combat? Back in the days. If you did, I'd love to hear your stories, your favorite moments, the characters that left an indelible mark on you, and any unforgettable experiences that this show may have sparked. It's like reminiscing with an old friend over a cup of coffee, sharing those cherished memories that have stood the test of time. Now, let's dive into some fascinating random facts about this iconic show that might just surprise you. Trust me, there's more to combat than meets the eye. Stay tuned for a delightful journey through the past as we uncover some hidden gems about the series. Buckle up, my friend. We're in for a historical TV adventure. D-Y-D-G-A-R. In 1962, the TV series Combat hit the small screen with a budget of $150,000 per episode. This WWII drama brought the gritty realities of war into American living rooms, capturing the hearts of many. But one intriguing detail stands out from the DVD box set. It cost comedian Shecky Green money to take a break from his Las Vegas show and appear in an episode of Combat. Green eventually left the series due to these financial constraints. Additionally, the character Lieutenant Hanley, portrayed by actor Rick Jason, began the show as a non-commissioned officer, but was later meritoriously promoted to lieutenant during the series. This character development added depth to the show and mirrored the real-life experiences of many soldiers during World War II. Combat remains an iconic series that not only portrayed the grim nature of war, but also offered interesting insights into the behind-the-scenes challenges faced by its cast. With a budget that was considered substantial for its time and the financial impact it had on guest stars like Shecky Green, this show left a lasting mark in the world of television. Sergeant Saunders' mysterious past in combat. Cat and Mouse in the TV series Combat. Episode titled Cat and Mouse, Sergeant Saunders dropped a surprising nugget about his pre-war occupation. When asked, he claimed to have been a shoe salesman. However, it's unclear whether he was being entirely serious or giving a flippant response. The context was that a reckless sergeant had complained about being surrounded by timid shoe clerks. This intriguing revelation adds a layer of complexity to Sergeant Saunders' character. Whether he was actually a shoe salesman or not, it highlights the diverse backgrounds and personalities of the soldiers who fought in World War II. Saunders' tough and experienced demeanor contrasts with the stereotype of a shoe salesman, making his character even more enigmatic. Combat. Enthusiasts have debated this revelation over the years, trying to decipher whether it was a moment of humor or a glimpse into Saunders' past. Regardless of the true nature of his pre-war occupation, it's clear that Sergeant Saunders was a character with depth and mystery. So, whether he was a shoe salesman or not, Sergeant Saunders remains an iconic figure in the series, known for his leadership, bravery, and resourcefulness in the midst of combat. 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 In the 1962 TV series Combat, Hal Busch took on a unique role. He appeared in 33 episodes, playing different German soldiers and officers. However, his characters usually met their demise during the episodes. This marked a notable and intriguing aspect of the show, with Bush recurring presence as a series of ill-fated German adversaries. The exclamation point in the title Combat had a stylized bayonet incorporated into its design. This subtle but symbolic detail added a touch of authenticity and intensity to the series, signifying the combat an action that viewers could expect. It became a distinctive feature of the show's logo, contributing to its iconic status. Vic Morrow, born on February 14, 1929, shared a noteworthy connection with the infamous St. Valentine's Day Massacre in Chicago. This historical event is strongly associated with the Thompson submachine gun. In combat, 
Morrow portrayed Sergeant Chip Saunders and became an enduring icon strongly linked to this iconic weapon. These intriguing details shed light on some lesser-known aspects of the 1962 TV series Combat. Paul Bush's recurring roles, the stylized bayonet in the title, and Vic Morrow's connection to the Thompson submachine gun added depth and significance to the show's legacy. The mystery of Chip Saunders and the unmade combat. Film in the 1960s TV series Combat, Sergeant Saunders was a central character. Fans of the show may recall that he was often referred to as Chip throughout the series. Interestingly, Chip is a common nickname for individuals named Charles. However, in the entire series, Sergeant Saunders is never addressed as Charles, Chuck, or Charlie. This nickname mystery adds a unique layer to the character's identity. But that's not the only name-related intrigue in combat. In the first episode, Lieutenant Hanley is called Gil, typically short for Gilbert. However, this reference to his first name is a one-time occurrence, and Hanley's actual first name is never mentioned again in the series. Moreover, in an episode titled Combat, just for the record, we learn more about Sergeant Saunders. In a phonographic recording sent to him by his mother and sister, he is affectionately called Chip. This revelation about his nickname offers fans a more personal connection to the character. Additionally, Saunders mentions in the same episode that he hails from Cleveland, Ohio, providing some background to his character's origin. Beyond the TV series, there were plans for a feature film adaptation of Combat, with Bruce Willis slated to play Sergeant Chip Saunders. However, for reasons unknown, the film project never came to fruition, leaving fans of the series curious about what might have been. In conclusion, Combat. Fans have long been intrigued by the use of the nickname Chip for Sergeant Saunders and the brief mention of Lieutenant Hanley's first name. These small details add layers to the characters and their stories. Additionally, the unmade film adaptation with Bruce Willis as Sergeant Saunders remains a tantalizing what if in the world of classic TV. Combat, a TV series that battled against tough competition in 1962, the TV series Combat made its debut, airing on Tuesday nights at 7.30 p.m. This time slot pitted it against some formidable rivals, including NBC's Larry Me, CBS Gunsmoke, and The Lloyd Bridges Show. The show faced stiff competition, but it managed to carve out its own space in the hearts of viewers. What's remarkable is that combat endured for five years, despite a historical twist. The series aired for a longer duration than the actual time that elapsed between D-Day on June 6, 1944, and the German surrender on May 8, 1945. However, it's interesting to note that the episode count fell well short of the number of days between these two pivotal events. The characters of combat also held some intriguing mysteries. While some soldiers had their full names and ranks disclosed, others remained shrouded in partial anonymity. For instance, Cage was PFC, Paul Lemay, Kirby was PVT, William G. Kirby, and Nelson was PVT. William Nelson. However, Little John's first name remained undisclosed. As for Saunders, although some called him Chip, it appears to have been a nickname with his real first name remaining a secret. In one episode, Combat, a day in June, the D-Day invasion was portrayed in flashback. Then Sergeant, Hanley was addressed as Gil by a lady he was keeping company with. This intriguing detail hints at the complexity of the characters and their pasts. Combat, may have had to fight for its place in the TV lineup, but it left its mark on the television landscape with its unique storytelling and memorable characters. A series that thrived in the face of tough competition, it remains a significant part of television history. Vision history, vision history, as we bid adieu to the riveting world of combat and its unforgettable 1962 TV series, we find ourselves at the crossroads of nostalgia and appreciation. This iconic show, with its gripping tales of wartime camaraderie and courage, has woven its way into the hearts of viewers across generations. But what is it that keeps us returning to this black and white battlefield, year after year? Perhaps it's the indomitable spirit of Sergeant Saunders, whose unwavering dedication to his squad remains etched in our memories. Or maybe it's the intricate dance between action and emotion, as soldiers faced not only the enemy but also their own fears and frailties. As you reflect on your personal connection with combat, we invite you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about this classic series. What scenes stirred your soul? 
Which characters left an indelible mark on your psyche? How has this show impacted your understanding of the sacrifices made during wartime? In this age of high-definition visuals and digital storytelling, there's a certain magic in revisiting the grainy, gritty world of combat. It's a testament to the enduring power of storytelling that transcends the constraints of time and technology. So, let your memories flow and your thoughts unfold. Share your passion for combat with us and let's keep the flame of appreciation burning bright for this timeless series. Your reflections are the threads that weave the tapestry of its legacy. Thank you for your time and interest in the world of combat and for allowing us to journey through it once more. Your connection to this show is a testament to its enduring impact. impact.